National Hemp Awareness Month was launched in Region 6 yesterday. Details in this Michael Kahn report. Under the theme, Exploring the Sustainable Future of Industrial Hemp, the Guyana Hemp Industries, in collaboration with the Sandy Fort Hemp Development Group, officially launched the National Hemp Awareness Month on Sunday, October 1st, in West Kanji, Burbies. Residents of the Heritage Village gathered at the Health Center, where the Vice President of the Guyana Hemp Industries, Michael Curtin, said, This is the second time we are launching Hemp Awareness Month in Region 6. Last year, we launched it at Mara, today at San Fort. Early this year, we launched Hemp Awareness Week in New Amsterdam. And during the course of the month, we will be holding a number of activities within Region 6, starting next weekend with the Hemp Road Shows, which will start from March over the weekend from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which will start from Mara to Molson Creek, which we will be delivering and handing out various information material on hemp. Since the cultivation of industrial hemp is now legal in Guyana, with room for job creation, Curtin believes that Sandfort Village, which is renowned for farming, would be an ideal locality to cultivate and harvest the hemp plant. If we be scarlet this is one of the first regions earmarked for hemp production in Guyana, could become the epicenter for hemp production in, in Guyana because you have the land, you have the energetic farmers, you have water, you have everything that is needed. And I must say that when you drive through the communities in Region 6, I'm very impressed that Region 6 is one of the most richest agricultural regions, if not the richest, in Guyana. Because the amount of produce coming to Region 6 to Georgetown shows that the potential of hemp production here. Overseas-based Barbitian Dennis Shepard, who has farmlands at back of Sandford Village, graced the event and indicated that he is willing to allow interested villagers to cultivate hemp on his property since he already has the license to do so. Hopefully by this week, we're looking to get some people coming to start opening up. We get about another 15 minutes into my place. We have some bamboos and stuff. We're going to start bringing in things now and start setting up camp. We have to get people in there. And it's the one thing I ask folks, one thing I tell Mr. Corkman, security and very prompt and secure. This pilfering of things and so I have a serious problem with it. And I say serious, I'm serious with it. Because I had my excavator here and people taking a part, I have a problem. And it's one of the things when I see the president, I will address with it. When you charge them, you're getting people who know people. I don't have time for that because my mother, she's going down. So if there's anyone, you guys know this, you're going down. This is who I am. Okay? So let's get all these things in order and let's do it right. We're going to develop this place. Some of the villagers then sought clarity as to whether it would be legal to utilize Mr. Shepherd's lands. What would happen to those young persons? How will they be able to do the, the planting without having title to lands? And, and you mentioned that um, I think some lands are earmarked so that persons who are interested if it's having one acre or two acre, do they still have to have license? I have land at the back that they welcome to come and work along. On that point, are, do they, how would they be able to plant on your place? Do they still have to get the license to plant there? No, no, I get a license to cover them to, to my cover place. That. So you would, it would cover loan them. to them a piece of land or what? What Whatever works because we are at the experimental stage right now. Okay? And let us see what is best for everybody. 
Is it wise? Because I guess we would need some technical advice in what we do with him. You need to make it clear to us. Those of us who are here or you will invite others. We invite we will do the pilot project. So all of us will have the knowledge. Because we already spoke about waiting for land and land. That is fine. But then we need to have the knowledge up front in cultivating him. Okay. Three acres of no, no big bush or nothing. We drainage everything. Right. So it is just a case now we have to wait on the time when the seeds and other things are available. So all of us can say we have a plot of land where we will be able to go and learn That's to right. cultivate hemp. This is clear. The Industrial Hemp Act 2022 was signed into law on August 11th last year by His Excellency Dr. Irfan Ali. Hemp is said to be a versatile plant that can be used to produce food, medicine, clothing, footwear, hair and skin care products, and much more. Michael Kahn, reporting for Channel 8 News.